The Last of Us Part 1 is pointless. Now I'm sure there's an argument to be had on how much time should elapse for a popular game to breathe before getting a remake. Though most might say that 23 years is a tad on the long side. There are so many variables at play between hardware limitation, player feedback, development costs, and so forth, that more times than not, even games that are popular are content to just stay as they are and maybe get a sequel or two and of course remasters as hardware advances are made. I think most will agree that if you return to a beloved series, you should actually probably remake it. Based on what we've seen so far, The Last of Us Part 1 appears to be less of a remake and more of a touching up of the remaster for the PlayStation 4. Like, to the extent that Naughty Dog actually had to make a whole video pointing out what the differences actually are. And even then, you still have to squint at some parts just to see what they're even talking about. The Last of Us is one of my all-time favorite story-driven games, so when I heard it was getting a remake, I was both cautiously stoked and thoroughly confused. Naughty Dog has so many games in their catalog that deserve another time in the spotlight, yet they choose to go back to a game that was nearly flawless for its time, only to do this to it? I can't be the only one who thinks the first Uncharted deserves a fresh coat of paint. Imagine going to where it all began with the big indies, modern graphics, and physics. It's a surefire hit. Maybe not as big as The Last of Us, but it's certainly a remake that is more needed. Now we have certainly moved out of the era of generational leaps in gaming. Games from here on out likely aren't going to blow us away with visuals alone, as they did when we were moving to the 5th or the 7th gens of consoles. In fact, I believe that games are going to have to start getting creative with how they market themselves moving forward, as graphics alone become a more archaic marketing gimmick. The Last of Us was an incredible looking game at the time, without even mentioning the remaster, and it still holds up very well to this day. So the Naughty Dog team was certainly fighting an uphill battle when they started, but does anyone believe they actually created a new game here? Now, if I'm being objective, yes, the game looks better. Yes, they have updated the lighting and the textures and the blada blada, the buddy physics are better, they have better accessibility, and my personal favorite, haptic feedback and adaptive trigger support. But do any of these touches really justify a full price tag? There were few things in the Naughty Dog presentation that I thought couldn't have been simple next-gen upgrades. Like, I understand they won't give us the horses from Part 2, but like, why not anything else? The Last of Us Part 2 was such an incredible display of what a modern console pushed to its limits could achieve, and yet the remake of its predecessor comes out years later and doesn't even get updated gameplay? This could potentially feel like such a step down to a lot of players who started with Part 2. And yes, those people do exist. But more importantly, for those of us who love the original, why are we getting charged $70 for what is, by and large, the exact same game we experienced at minimum twice by now? Currently, the game isn't out yet, and new details could get leaked or revealed before the game comes out. But as of now, I'm not seeing anything that paints the game in a light that entices me to pick it up a third time. I will be picking it up for sure, but only after a few years have passed and when it either drops to the value bin at Best Buy or is given out on PlayStation Plus.